Hello, my name is Javareka, and welcome to my golf simulator room. Uh, today, today we are going to be playing White Deer Run in Vernon Hills, Illinois. Um, it's a local public course in the northern suburbs of Chicago. So today I'm starting out hitting a driver. Um, not a big hitter in my driver, so don't expect a lot out of these, but I had a pretty good um, front nine uh, with the driver today. Um, so that's a good drive for me, 246. Uh, looks like I've got about 134 going in, so I'll probably be using a nine iron here. Um, maybe a, a pitching wedge, but judging by the distance on that, I was, I'm pretty sure that was a nine iron. Um, and then we got a little chip coming in uh, so I'm probably going with the 60 degree little uh, floppy shot here. And hopefully it runs up there pretty good. Um, I have the gimmies. Um, that was a good shot. Um, the gimmies are set at uh, six feet. Um, and we're using GS Pro, by the way, uh, the, the latest version of GS Pro. Um, using uh, Mevo Plus as the launch monitor. Uh, going with the driver again here, pushing my luck. Uh, hit this one pretty good, just not very far. Uh, on the fairway. And we got about 150 going in, so this will be uh, an eight iron. Uh, I've been kind of um, tugging my eight irons. Uh, my, my, my seven and eight irons for some reason, not entirely sure. This one, uh, I played it out right. It stayed out right this time. <laughs> so, but a good shot. I'm on in reg. Have a chance for, for birdie here. Uh, I do have the stim set at 10 on the simulator. Now I have pretty good luck with putting uh, in the simulator with the flight scope. Uh, this one, I just aimed it way too far left. It was the right pace, just just uh, bad aiming on that one. Now, with the GS Pro, you do need to putt relatively straight. Uh, if you putt offline, it'll go offline on the software. Uh, so this hole is par five. I'm gonna go with, the, I believe, a three hybrid. Uh, do a little course management. Uh, you'll see that I hit these three hybrids sometimes just as far as I'm hitting my driver. So. That's kind of frustrating. Um, so I'm working on my driver game. So uh, about 182 out, I'm probably using a six iron here. And push that up. Actually, I was laying up there with the six iron and I just pushed that one under the trunk of the trees. Um, luckily, I, th I think I'm under the trees enough here where I have a shot coming out the backside with the eight iron. This one I caught kind of thin, didn't get all of it, and went to the bunker. So I have pretty good luck out of the, the sand uh, shots. I'm, I'm they're really working on my chipping. Uh, it's helped me in the simulator room and it's really helped me out on the golf course, just with confidence and striking the ball. Uh, this was not a good example of that. Um, that one I just did not hit hard enough. But we can try again and we just eke it into the we can be back this time in a circle. So we're one over after three here. So I'm a, I am built this golf simulator about a year ago. Um, my goal was to lower my handicap from, not my handicap, but my, my typical round is high 80s, low 90s. And within this year, I've really managed to lower my scores to, uh, to the low 80s consistent, consistently. Um, and it's actually translated out onto the golf course too. So it's, it's working out very, very nice. I'm really happy 
Uh, I do play a lot in the simulator room. Uh, been really working on my ball striking. I think it's starting to come around. Uh, that wasn't the best shot there, but again, my chipping has been uh, bailing me out. All right, so we're gonna go on to hole number five, which is a par four. I do believe I go back to the driver. It's an older uh, Maverick uh, that I bought used from the PGA Superstore. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. It's, it's very forgiving. Uh, I have it set at the default loft settings. Um, I just need to start working on uh, uh, my takeaway and my follow through. My follow through is a little short. Um, so that's something I've been working on. That drives, you know, very average for me. So um, I just need to keep you know, getting a little more club head speed as well. So we're going with an eight iron here, playing a little draw, trying to bring it in. And I aimed it up too far right. I should have just uh, left it at the flag and played a draw, but not to be. Here's another 60 degree. I love using that 60 degree wedge for my chipping. Uh, that time I just got a little too much of it. Got an 18 foot putt par here. All right, now we're moving on to six hole, which is par five. Um, about an average length par five. I'll be using a, a driver off the tee. If there's par fives are around 500 yards, I will go use a three, uh, three hybrid off the tee and do a little course management. This one I got well again, I didn't really hit it that far, but it, I'm you know, hitting it in the fairway, it's safe, it's playing. Happy with that. Again, not very far, only about a 210 carry, 226 in length. Um, I'm going with the three hybrid here. Actually, on this hole, I went with a seven iron, I believe, uh, to try to give myself a full swing coming in. Um, and that'll be a, this will be a gap wedge, just a stock gap wedge. Again, I, I've been tugging them a little lately, and I think that's what happens here again. Yeah, right off the club face. Not giving myself a chance. I got to work on that a little bit. I don't really want to just be aiming right to make up for it. I want to see if I can't eliminate that tug. Again, I, I'm really comfortable with these little chip shots, with that 60 degree wedge. So another one in the gimme circle there. Coming up on a par four. I believe I went with the driver again here. Nah, I went with the three, three hybrid. And it pushed it a little right. Normally I will pull that club. And so I play it to the right and this time I pushed it. Uh, so we're going from the sand trap, and I'm probably using a, a pitching wedge here. From 110 out, a little bit uphill. So I was having a little trouble with greens and rag today, but um, I was able to, to scramble uh, throughout the day, throughout this front nine. Uh, I'm going to do the back nine. In a separate video and then I'll get that posted up here too. Yep, this one I have up a little long. I have a putt coming back, a 15 footer. The 
This one just lipped out on me. That one kind of hurt. <laughs> one of the one of the par there, or one of the birdie there. So. Oh, I'm sorry, one of the par. So we're going out to a par three, eighth hole. I'm going to use the nine iron here. Um, I do like to aim a little right with this club and try to draw it back in. Um, I think I tried taking a little bit of something off of this one. Let's see, uh, this one draws back. I think I just overcooked it a little bit. But nonetheless, it's in the middle of the green, just past pin high. Now 30 feet, just 128 feet downhill. Another good putt, little, little too much pace. I think if I had a little easier on the pace, that would have gone in. All right, so now we go to the night hole, short par four, but challenging because it's uh, all water down the left and a lot of trees and a creek on the right. So I usually play a three hybrid here. Um, just get it out and play. And so I have like a, a full gap wedge coming in and that's exactly what happened today. So this is about 109, four feet up in the air. So it's a full stock gap wedge for me. Again, with the tug, at least I'm consistent. And at some point in time, I lost a swing video for these last this last hole. But then we have a little chip up for, for the gimme par. So thanks for joining me. I'll get the back nine up for you real soon. Uh, like and subscribe and leave some comments. Always appreciate it. Thank you.